What's up, guys? We're back in Feed the Beast. Um, now, last time we were looking at the power armor, and this time I, I'm still here with uh, all the power armor and supplies and stuff because I wanted to kind of explain to you how it works. So, now that I've got it on and I've got all the upgrades that I've decided I wanted, you, you obviously use the tinker table too. Well, just that. Tinker it with it exactly how you want it. I decided that the um, invisibility wasn't something I wanted because it doesn't matter. Um, but so far on my helmet, I've got the max battery. I've got the water, the auto feeder, so it feeds me. I have energy shields on everything and the Citizen Joe style. So, uh, And then this, I have, I don't have the camouflage, don't need it. I have an energy shield at max, right? I have elite battery and all the batteries are on the smallest except for my boots and I'll tell you why in a second. My jetpack at 75% still. Um, I, no need for a glider because when you have a glider and actually it's better to do a jetpack and a parachute so you, you can stop yourself with shift. Uh, and then the Citizen Joe style. And uh, for the pants, I've got jump assist at this much because I don't like how high you jump if you max it. Swim boost, I don't even have. Don't see the need. Uphill step assist, I have. That means uh, when you're sprinting, you can walk up. See? Just like that. Um, and I have... Uh, Sprint assist, which I have the walking assist at half. So the power is max. So you can see I can walk normal. And then it's real easy to just activate sprint. You can see how fast I go. Now, the really nice thing about this is that just by walking around and flying around, it actually generates power because I've also got on here the uh, kinetic generator. So you can literally fly around and generate power. This power suit armor, I can't... Uh, Greg. Greg Tech's bound to happen because it's OP as shit. I literally um, have eight megajoules of power or whatever, M joules, whatever, um, and I have never gone below five. And while it does use energy per tick based on the things I have, just by walking around and moving around, I just regenerate, no problem. Okay, now back on to my boots. My boots have an energy shield, and the boots I've put it at max. The reason why I haven't maxed the rest of the... Um, and sorry, for the battery. The reason I haven't maxed the battery on anything else is because it actually weighs you down quite a bit. And I've found 8's been just fine. I haven't needed any more. And actually, only maxing the battery on my, my feet has been just fine. No problem at all. Um, so then on to my tool, which this is the power tool, which comes with the power suit, which we didn't go over before. Um, and I'm going to go over this time. It has upgrades such as like melee weapon and a ranged weapon, a plasma cannon for range, which I have upgraded and maxed. Um, which I'll show you how that works now. So you shift and scroll to go through. You can see the plasma cannon. I can charge up and shoot. And it shoots just like a creeper, kind of. Oh, I completely didn't know that it was going to destroy the base. Whoopsies. All right, we'll fix it. You can see the jump. So you can actually make that jump even higher. I did not know about terrain damage. Sorry about that. Because um, it didn't work up there for terrain damage. Anyways, um... Yeah, so I've got the melee on as well, so I can punch and do damage. Multimeter, I don't have. I think this is something to do with um, reading electricity and wires. I don't have it. Um, but yeah, you can actually make it both your axe, your your pickaxe, and your shovel if you just install all those, which obviously I have. So it will it will actually mine the wood and stuff fast for me, and just like and the axe and the um and you know stone and dirt, just like if it was all three tools built in one, which is really cool. So it's basically weapons and tools all together. It has an integrated crafting bench, um, which is cool. See that? Very cool. You just scroll. Uh, the next thing it's got is a blink drive, which uses power when you blink. But again, like you can see my power in the top. I'll, you'll notice throughout this episode that the power just, look, you see, it just charges up as I move and charges up as I fly, but I don't want to show you that after. So I go blink drive. Boom. It just does this. It's not actually using an ender pearl. That's just the blink drive. That's just how it works. And yeah. Uh, okay, so the next thing is um, it's got a max battery, which I haven't put up. Um, I think that all the batteries are built in one, so the only battery that's max is my boots based on their weight because their weight was really light. And then you can color everything, but I haven't decided on coloring things yet because, I don't know, I just kind of like how it looks with the white. I'm not sure yet. Um... Now the fly mode, um, another thing you can do, you can set hotkeys for all the different abilities and, and things that they can do. So the only thing I felt the need to, like, cause you could turn off the pickaxe, the shovel and the axe so that it wouldn't work anymore as 
any of those, but I didn't see a need for that. The only thing I saw a need for was to be able to turn off the fly mode and then the flight boots, which give you, you know, like a slight fly off the ground. So right now I'm not, I have the fly mode off and I can sprint and I can, you know, walk up. Um, I can, oh, I don't want this. I can jump real high and you can sprint and I can just get around real quick, but I don't have fly mode on. I also don't take damage because I have the, the module which does, you know, the takes absorbs all fall damage. So I can just fall off stuff and all that. But then if I press F, it will turn on the jet boots and the jet pack. And you can see I can fly around insanely fast. And even with uh, maxed out battery on the shoes, you can see and then every all the shields maxed out. The weight is just not a problem still. And then turn it all off and look at me back here. I can walk normal speed. So it does take a bit of tinkering to get everything to your liking, but this is about perfect. I think maybe if anything, the jump's a little bit much, because like if you're sprinting and you jump, it's almost like you're flying. But hey, it's kind of cool for getting around real quick without actually flying. Um, and then, and you can see like I'm charging battery right here. You can see if I go fly mode on. Let's see, we're at 4.6 it looks like. And we're just charging up. Charging, charging up, no problem. And that's really, really cool. So yeah, it's just charging me right up. Um, but yeah, if if things decide like you know if power doesn't stay or whatever, we can we can work it out later to tinker things, because um, certain things like uh, a jump assist and stuff, I don't really use that much. Like I can even turn that down. That's a little better. Um, and you can turn down like your weapons, uh, like uh, damage, all that stuff. But anyways. And I could turn up, I mean, I go so fast that even if I, so say I went and put some uh, battery, you know, it'll obviously add some weight, but we could go to like five weight on this. And I bet you still real fast here. If we're flying still so fast that you don't even notice how slow that battery addition would have made me. And now, you know, you get more MJs, um, but only when you're holding your tool. So uh, it's kind of good. Like you can see when it's off and on, it's a different, so got to be holding it, but whatever, still cool. Um, so that's good. It gives me a little more MJs in my tool. I think that's different. I think my charge is different in my tool. I don't know. Anyways. Okay, so, <laughs> excuse me. What I wanted to do today, now that I've explained it all, um, I'm maxed out. I have a dope armor set. I basically can't even take damage from anything. I figured what better to do than kill this thing in the twilight, which I don't think has been killed yet. Um, and I'm pretty sure... It's right near the spawn portal. Yep. The Twilight Lich. I don't even know what it looks like. I just know it was supposed to be hard to kill. So, picture this. While I'm moving around, I'm actually charging all my stuff here. Just by moving. So I'm just charging. So, I'm actually going to put it to the plasma can. And let's just see how much damage that does. And see how much damage we can take from this thing. And I don't even know what it looks like. So, I just want to flip in. I thought it would be awesome for an episode to now go through and see if we can kill us a Lich. Oh shit, oh shit. There's there's some stuff in here. Okay, I don't see any damage coming away from me. I'm killing stuff. I don't know if stuff will like continuously spawn in here. I think this might be the lich. My oh my health is going down a bit. My all my all my um my my Energy is still fine. He's strong as shit. I think I'm still okay here. Oh, look at his health. My health is fine. I don't even know if this is the Lich. I would assume so. How much damage can we do to these books? Uh, I don't think we insta-kill them. Yeah, I'm still, like, really good on my charge and stuff, so. Um, but you can see, like, a couple hits, two hits, so it's pretty good damage. Um, even for the melee. Uh, I don't know. So I could even break spawners and stuff. Um, I want to know, though. I think that must be the Lich up there, yeah. So let's fly back up. Let's just, I mean, it doesn't look like I'm doing that much damage. I think the beauty of this tool is, like, it does a substantial damage, but it's not, like, it's not crazy, but, yeah, the Lich is up here. So I don't know if I can kill all his little henchmen. 
Yeah, they're like exploding and stuff. I, I don't know what's going on, how, how I kill them. I might not be able to kill him this episode. There must be a way. I think you gotta get all his shields down somehow. I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna just because I can just escape here. At the roof. The roof, the roof. I'll just zoom out. You can see my power. Everything's still fine. Um, charging up as I'm moving around and stuff like that. So it's really great. I'm gonna quickly go pause and investigate what would be... Um, the best way to kill him, and I, I, yeah, because to be, because while I'm like basically invincible, it'd be good to to try. All right, guys, so I figured out how to kill this dang lich. I know what I gotta do. So I was researching online. I just looked it up. I don't want any of this stuff. Basically, that what happens is the first stage of this Twilight Lich is he throws um the, the things that he's shooting at me, and the shields make him and the the people that he spawns around invincible. Since I'm pretty much invincible too, what I have to do. But the first stage is fire back his projectiles by like whacking them in the air with properly timing. And then once I whack them back, it'll actually remove shields from him. And then once all the shields are down, I can actually damage him. Then he's going to start spawning zombies to attack me, which probably shouldn't be a problem. but Because uh, I'll still be able to damage him. And in the third phase, he's just going to come and attack me 1v1. So what I need to do is just go down there and reflect his projectiles at him. And uh, hopefully we can do that. So we need to, oh shit, I need to keep fly mode on I guess since he's gonna, oh he fl fell down here. So I need to try to project these back at him. He's gonna destroy his whole uh, place. Yeah, see there's his shields, the shields are going away. It's good. We just need to be able to whack these. Oh, almost hit him back. There we go. I think I broke another one, maybe. Come on, shoot me. Ah, uh, I gotta hit him with the projectiles. Yes, I got another one. You can see? There we go. Come on, come on. Yes, I got all three shields. So now I should be able to attack him. He's gonna spawn zombies, but I'm just gonna float. And I'm just gonna whack him. I'm just gonna flip in. Where is he? Come on. Where'd he go? Oh, where is he? Dude, where'd you go? Little scaredy monster, come on. Come here, you little rascal. Oh, there you are. I ain't afraid of you. Oh, look at his zombies are pretty strong. Eat this. Ugh. So now he's got the zombie scepter. He's still spawning zombies. And he should. Um, I should be able to kill him soon. Come here, bud. Oh, he's just TPing away. Okay, now he's on the stage where he's just gonna come and attack me. I think, unless he went, unless he went back up here. I see his health gone. I don't want to. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't want to like lose him. You know, might have TP'd down. What? I don't think I killed him. He should come and attack me now. That was the third stage. No, he's not dead. These books are annoying, though. Are these things, like, respawning, or are they just... Yeah, you're dead, bro. Yeah, see, I'm still, I'm still generating a good amount of MJ. We gotta find this Lich King. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. What the heck? Where's the Twilight Lich? I thought I just killed him. <laughs> this is gonna be so frustrating if he's not dead. He's supposed to be on to the third stage now. He might be like outside. I might just have to go fly around and like look for him or something. That's gonna be really annoying. Yeah, he's like gone. Maybe he like escaped or something. This is so like freaking. Oh, poison. Doesn't really affect me though. Alright, let's go try and find this lich. Just fly around the castle. Maybe he just like escaped. Oh man, poison's annoying. Mr. Lich, Mr. Lich, where are you? What? Oh man, if that like 
I don't know what's going on here. I should be able to kill him. Sorry. Where is the witch? You in here, bro? I don't know. Well, this is weird. This is just so strange. I don't understand. Um, the third stage on the thing, it says, come after you. There's a lot of you guys in here. This armor is really strong. Yeah, it says, uh, he come after you on his own and try to kill you. But he's not around. That's frustrating. You're supposed to drop rare items. Um, I don't think I killed him, to be honest. I'm looking and okay. I just ignore all these guys. Like, yeah, whatever. You guys ain't got shit. Yeah, I guess I got a freaking laser cannon. Yeah, although the the melee or the weaponry on this thing, the tool gun. I'll say the tool gun's awesome, but the weaponry isn't too crazy. But it's just the like the how it kind of does all in one, which just makes it really cool. Oh, this. Oh, he maybe he did die. Yeah. He did die, I guess. Okay, cool. I guess, because I just got a scepter. Um, which I guess fell from here. Let's just make sure I pick everything up. Well, there you go. The lich has been slain, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, guys. So, since we just killed the, um, the lich thing, king, I just wanted to just, before I went for the end of this video, which is a little shorter, but uh, that's pretty much all I... Was looking to do today because um cut short for time constraints but i wanted to just check out this life draining scepter and see what it what it does it looks like it sucks from a mob so why don't we just go check and see what it does um this is weird oh that was strange um so let's go find something to drain this is so 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 cool guys like this whole system Oh, it just sucks their life away. I bet you it gives it back to you, too. Yeah, just sucks out the life. That's really cool. It has a certain amount of charges. I don't know if you can recharge these these staffs here. You can drop a comment. I'm not sure how that works, to be honest with you. But, you know, like, just imagine how OP just all this stuff is. Like, so, so, so crazy good. Like, I'm, I'm loving it. And the, one of the coolest things is just, like, crafting table at any time. Like, just being... I'm sitting in midair, you know. I'm charging up because of the sun with my solar helmet. Uh, and I'm just... I'm just crafting. You know, you just craft. Midair. Who cares? I don't know. I think it's just so crazy. This is so cool. So, I've pretty much done... I want to go into the guns, but I don't really think they're needed once... Now that I have this all-in-one tool, I actually would, I think, prefer... To just keep an all-in-one tool um, like this for for everything. Like I, I prefer honestly to not have to have other weapons and stuff. But I would like to go into it a little bit. But I, I know you guys said unhosted it. Oh, excuse me. But next, I want to know from you guys what mod we could go into next because there's mods. I think we should keep things one at a time. How we're doing? We should start off with some projects like feed the beast for me has been super interesting lately with just this stuff and especially this power suit now. Like just the whole, it's like a whole new game for me right now, guys. I'm having so much fun with it. And uh, yeah, it's obviously a massive thank you and shout out to King Daddy D Mac who's hooked me up with supplies and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I also think DTI is um, is a great resource hub. But I think that. Uh, DTI as a hub, I think that's what it is, right? It's like, look, we've got our all of our chests with all of our things, but I think DTI as a hub, um, we need to move into maybe, uh, yeah, Top Mass Productions Enterprise. Like, maybe we need to go into something big, and something crazy. I don't know. I just feel like maybe, maybe I need my own little space. Let me know what you think about that idea. I would be making maybe like a... A house with a portal, you know, you could easily get back and forth, something like that. Another thing our server needs is a server another hub with miscraft portals all over since the link modifier is out of the game. I think it's out of the game. Um, but that's by the by, that's different. Anyways, long story short, I was thinking of just uh, keeping DTI as like a resource hub and kind of making a new area. Well, I know I had that idea before with the train over there, but I'm like, and I, and I know that that would be a good idea. I'm not sure how much I'm partial to living in the ice biomes. I usually don't 
aren't a fan, but just an idea because I actually had no ideas at the time. However, this thing's so great. All right, well, let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we owned that lich. We owned that lich. Like, was he was he even a lich? Like, I think he was just a little baby. That's what he was. He was just a little 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 baby scrub dump. For us, psh, nothing. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.